Hello and welcome to tutorial number 11, um, the HTML tutorials. Uh, in the last um, tutorial, if we go back to what we were doing, um, this is where we got to. Now, I said that I was going to be closing this at um, tutorial number 11. Well, I'm not going to. I've decided not to. Um, because there are uh, lots of other things that we can talk about. Um, so, um, in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to be talking about um, a couple uh, other um, elements within inside a form uh, and then we're going to move on to uh, the likes of div tags um, and other things that I don't want you to use um, so everything that I've taught you up till now is I think you should use all the time and um, the a few other tutorials later are things uh, not to use and reason why not to use um, because maybe because they're old um, they're not as good there's other better ways of doing it um, so and if you can learn PHP, the other things that I'm going to show you, you don't need to use. Um, okay, so uh, the next thing is um, is the upload um, uh, element within the form. Now, like I said, because of um, the post and get in the last tutorial, um, we haven't covered PHP yet, so we can't actually do anything. But there is no reason why I can't show you um, the elements within inside uh, the form. So let's um, go to our form and just below um, the checkbox, the newsletter, what we're going to do is we're going to put a, another paragraph uh, tag here and we're going to say um, upload uh, upload data, uh, nice and simple. And what we'll put underneath this is uh, input type equals file okay and then name equals um, data we'll call it and um, yeah so let's just let's, let's put a break here as well and let's save this and we can show you now and as you can see there that now puts a, a box and when we click on it it goes to your um, goes to your computer Obviously, this this text is in German, but this will say "browse files," I believe, if you've got an English computer. Um, and um, you can change this text, um, but that means me talking about um, other stuff. We're not going to. Okay, so um, there's another part that we need to actually um, add with inside our um, form uh, um, tag here, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay. So what it is is basically uh, we need to tell the form that there's data being uploaded within with inside of it, and it's not just sending uh, text uh, to the next form or information. Uh, we need to tell it um, to have this action. Um, so what this attribute is is enc type uh, equals uh, multi uh, parts dash data. Um, oh, sorry, multi part. Form data. I always forget this one, um, so don't worry about it. I've got it written down in front of me, um, but it, it's best to know that you need it. Uh, that, that's all. Um, so, but this is what you need to um, put in there. Like I said in the other tutorials, that you can't do anything with this um, unless you actually have some PHP um, telling it where to go and what to do and what to upload uh, and so on. And you also need a server um, on there. Um, but otherwise, um, that's pretty much pretty much what you need. Um, okay, just going to have a quick think if there's anything else just to finish up on the form elements that we need. Okay, yeah, I, I can't believe I nearly forgot this, but it's the text area um, that we need to show you for the likes of comments. So, um, it's underneath the um, checkbox, or oh, underneath the female uh, here, underneath line 30, <coughs> what we need is a, a text area. Okay, and name equals uh, comments because that's what it normally um, is and then rows and columns whoops okay we're going to uh, format this in a second rows and columns is what we need now rows um, obviously is how many rows that you want it to be and columns how many columns you want it to be um, now I, I believe 40 is about right for for the um, columns and rows um, I always think about 10 it is good enough so and then what you need here is text um, area after this it's one of um, the only 
um, form elements that you actually need to give a closing tag. Um, so what we're going to put here is comments and we're going to put a break, let's save this and then come back to our form and have a look and there we go we've got a, a text area now that you can you can type in um, yes that's that's it okay so right just to lastly go over um, why we put names uh, on on these forms now um, we showed you in the last tutorial about post and get well uh, let's just go over what this information was on get now the input um, title the input uh, radio button has the name of title okay then the value of mister and the same again for the missus now and obviously the name is first name surname agenda etc and get and post what they do is they read this name here and the value is um, the value of this so you talk to it by um, asking the name and then the name gives you a value okay well let's test it and I'll show you so if we just remember um, that the radio button for mister has the the name of title okay and we come back to this and what we do is we put mister and then put David and we put Thorne that will be uh, enough and then gender okay male so let's um, submit this form this is where we're going to be looking okay so let's submit this now what you see is form underscore process dot php which is where we sent it then question mark title is the name of that element okay. oh, title equals mister yeah so the title is the name equals the value of mister and first name is equal to the value of david plus uh, um, so that's plus there is because there's a space a space there that I've put in and surname equals thorn and if you keep going gender equals male and uh, data equals nothing and submit equals submit okay so this is the reasons why um, we give them names now there's also um, a reason why we can give them IDs okay now mainly this is for um, for JavaScript but also it can be for CSS Okay, so you can. Uh, we're going to be moving on to CSS very shortly, um, but it's best to um, best to give them an ID if you're using JavaScript. And then if you're not using JavaScript, then really you don't need to because you you can't really talk to them um, in PHP without a name. Actually, you can't talk to them at all without a name. Um, I'm kind of confusing you here, um, but later on it's going to get a lot more confusing, so it's better to understand it now. So, um, best to give them an ID for the later lessons in JavaScript. Uh, okay, right, I'm going to finish this lesson here because I don't want to confuse you. And um, next, yeah, we're, the next lesson we're going to move on to div tags, okay, where um, CSS is going to get a, a little bit more confusing, unfortunately. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it still, and um, we'll see you in the next tutorial.